Good morning. Today we slept in two sleeping bags. And under the feet we had this hot water bottle. But we didn't have so much big negative temperature today. So I don't know what it was working, but it was very warm for me. I slept very well. Very comfortable, so that might work, you know. But we only will check when the temperature will drop down much more, like up to minus 15 or something. So I can clearly see you. it's working or not. I will survive or not with these two sleeping bags and this hot water bottle. Or I don't know how to call it. But yeah, I checked the weather. It's showing that it's snowing very light now. And I can hear the snowflakes kind of dropping on my tent. We're going to eat breakfast. Clean ourselves under the pamper swipes. Because I had them under my ass tonight also. So it will not freeze. And let's go eat breakfast with some hot tea. And then pack ourselves and let's push. Let's smash some kilometers. I also checked the grocery stores and one grocery stores where I am now and one in 13 kilometers. And after that, it's only in 122 kilometers and we will walk through this salt fjellet mountain. So it's very dangerous part, people saying, because it's snowstorms, they closing the roads very often in this time of year and it's no houses and no shops in 120 kilometers so it's like six days of walk without any house so we need to make sure we will charge everything and we will buy plenty of food for seven days at least in case something happened but nothing will happen will the snow show up very nice got crazy mind in my head <laughs> but before let's prepare with food supplies the backpack is overloaded this is the maximum I could close but that's good at least we have some food for our next adventures That's where we're heading today, guys, to Salt Fjellet National Park. People one month ago already told me to don't go to this place because when I will reach it, it will, it will be too late. Because there is always snow coming much earlier than in other places in Norway. They even stopping the traffic 
on the main road going through these mountains. So many, many people talk about this Salt Fjell National Park about me. To be carefully much as possible, but what they mean that it's a lot of snow there. I also talk with the locals and they told that it's 30 centimeters already in these mountains. So yeah, it will be interesting, but I check the weather app and the weather app shows good weather until the Monday and today we're having uh, Thursday. So we're having 3-4 days and I make a route through this national park, it was around 67 kilometers. So I'm thinking to make it in 4 days, I will not walk 20 kilometers per day for sure. I will try at least 12 kilometers because of the snow and also because of the incline. I check how much incline will be on the app, it shows 1700 meters. So almost 2 kilometers incline of 67 kilometers route. I think it will be something to deal with, special on the snow. Bad by the way, the Johannes from Muirana brought me two days ago a spikes. This kind of spikes you just attach it to your shoes it's very simple you probably everybody know so it will be hopefully not that slippery on the mountains you know still some extra gear for the winter season you know <laughs> so yeah guys i will finish charge my phone and let's do some rock and roll in the mountains just this time on the snow on total snow, I think the start line is there, but it will be more clear when we will be in the spot. Yes, in but <laughs> so yeah, guys, let's charge the phone. I already pack everything. I'm just waiting for the start line to shoot to the mountains. I'm thinking we will be for four days there. So let's enjoy some nature. So I meet this lady which is far away now and she told that some farmers was going to pick up ships from the mountains like two days ago and it was really difficult for them to walk through all that snow and it's only the start. So she told me what's waiting for me in the near future, deeper in the mountains. I should considering about turning around. Oh well, we will see. I know it will be really hard and tough, but I need to give a try, guys. It's not that bad, guys. No snow. Oh. Nam nam. So now we know. <sighs> so 
Just check this out guys What I just found A dog leash Oh super Why it's so short? I don't understand Probably from two we will do one Perfect Well, well, well <laughs> Now we have two leash Fantastic Just look to that Nice. <sighs> Good that it wasn't be that deep. Oh well. Let's down and have a lunch break. We have six kilometers, not much. But my plan was to walk like 11 kilometers per day, 12 perhaps, and don't rush because it's gonna be hard to walk through this all snow. So let's eat some nuts. Let's move! <laughs> He's pulling me like crazy He really loves snow And it will be difficult hike for me through these mountains If you keep pulling me like this Just check this out Finally we're crossing Arctic Circle Nice So officially From here Every day it will be darker and darker Until we will get only 2 hours of daylight or something Whew. 
Adventure is just starting guys. Every day some surprise. But we already knew where we're going. So I'm happy about that. To finally cross this Arctic Circle Zone. Okay guys, sunset is here already and I'm thinking to sleep right here. Just use the cover from the tent and put over this broken tree so it will be like triangle, triangle tent. I will use the cover like a tarp <sighs> because I hate building that shitty tent everywhere. And I will save much time by not placing this shitty tent. Or maybe I will place, I don't know yet, but... We will see. So unfortunately I built the tent because there wasn't be so flat. So why not in the tent? And now it stopped snowing. And I wanted to sleep only on the mattress in my sleeping bag without any tent. But we have what we have guys. So now let's make some hot tea and eat dinner. Winner, winner, salami dinner. But first let's feed my boy. <laughs> because he's very hungry. He's starving like a wolf. And by the way today I think he will sleep outside. Because that's how Siberian huskies love to sleep. They can handle minus 50 temperature and now it's like minus 2, minus 1. <laughs> he just burped. Just look who came back to the tent. So apparently he didn't want to be alone outside. So I let him in. <laughs> Super burrito with salami. Mm -mm -mm. By the way, check this out guys. Up to minus 15 in the night. <laughs> it will be some freezing nights for us. At least for me. Good morning guys, it's 8 o'clock in the morning and I barely could fit my feet inside the shoes, they got totally frozen, so I need to find solution about this, maybe put them in the tent, but everything inside the tent also is freezing, as it was hard job to fit my feet oh, man. so yeah we're going to eat some breakfast fast and packing our stuff and moving forward <laughs> it's freaking cold guys This will help.
<laughs> okay, let's check the map. Okay, so this is my dog footprint. Let me be following all the way some other animal footprints. It's very similar by size to Sinbad food. So I don't know what animal could be. Maybe a big fox or I have no clue but But the animal showing for us our trail for sure. <laughs> you see? It is a little bit smaller than Sinbad, so I consider it can be a fox. Hopefully, we could capture on camera that little fox or whatever. It is It's tough guys For sin but it's easy I could guess <laughs> <laughs> oh, this little buddy. Oh. Brain cooler, guys. Some reindeers was running, I guess. Or moose. <laughs> it's not easy walk with this extra weight. Oh man, it's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's so stick to the bottom of my shoe and I don't want to go out. Come on, man. Oh. Samosa. Oh boy, I'm start thinking what I'm doing. <laughs> oh. Man, I will take a risk and walk through the lake on the ice because this terrain is not possible to walk. So what's waiting? In near future, I have no idea. I already thought about emergency service. Shh, it's body plow. I hear some not comfortable sounds. This is some hardcore guys. Five meters from the lake and I wish I have moose legs. <laughs> this is not normal. I don't know how to complete this national park. I walk almost 8 kilometers from 10.30, from 10.30 in the morning. Now we having pull up. Oh my god! Now we having treatment of her. so much over, so we barely can move. I'm stuck, guys. 900 meters altitude. That was definitely tough, guys. And I don't know what's waiting for me. <laughs> Shit. Let's push. Since it will be in 40 minutes.
Do they go to streets that river, but I don't know how I will manage. Oh, the snow sometimes reaching almost my balls. That's crazy. Oh man. This dog is for cooling and for working hard to hide with him. It's the hardest part of all this journey. It was very hard, guys. You have absolutely no idea. We walk 10.5 kilometers, I think so. I tried to push to the 11, but I couldn't. And here is the crack. God, what I'm doing, I don't know. And it's kind of deep. I don't know why I'm always playing with my destiny. But yeah, guys. Oh no. Oh no. No, fuck it. God damn it. What is this? Some water. I need to find some good edge so I can fill some water. I need water. So I will save some gases for later because who knows what's waiting for me. After all this. After all. This, why? Fuck it, fuck it, I go to boil water. So actually I found some water by the river. So I don't need to melt that snow. And I'm looking forward to make some hot, hot tea. A super delicious sandwich from salami. <laughs> it was a very tough day, guys. And you know what I understand today? Walking through all this snow, that walking without right gear, snowshoes or skis, it's freaking difficult to walk with the balls of steel. 9.29 guys, I overslept a lot, let's check where we are and our today go fast and let's push. I can lay in this tent anymore because it's too late. So we are by the river and today goal is to follow all the way the river until we reach the lake and hopefully the lake will be frozen so we can walk through to the other side of the lake and that's where today goal will be. I try to measure it's approximately 15 kilometers so if there's no waiting for us same as yesterday probably we will not manage but we will try our best. And the finish line is city called Blakeness. After that we will cross that lake and hopefully by Monday evening somehow we will reach the city. I hope we will not stock for more days because I will be out of power bank, out of data to film and out of all electricity. And then it's gonna be real adventurous. 
Schon wieder Geist. Und jetzt push. Morning task. Oh, I walked that direction. I walked that direction. And this part looks most walkable. It sucks when it's minus seven. At least what my thermometer shows. Oh, guys. That will be some hard decision for me today. I hope it's the hardest of today's. Palau, Palau, stop, stop, stop. What this dog is doing, I don't understand. If he pull me, I'm fucked. It's up to the knee. Maybe it not looks like, but uh, the stone is moving. Palauk netem, 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 netem. Oh man. <laughs> okay guys. See you in the other side of the river. Or well, you know what? I decide to capture this moment. Either victory or either catastrophe. Whew. I hate rivers. I really do. Oh Ay, slippery, slippery. Oh man. Just don't pull me, dog. Oh man, it's so slippery. Yes. Yes. Yes, I hope so. No more stuff like this today. Okay, let's go. Let's go back on the snow. I don't know if you can see, but I see a lot of animals tracks on the ice by the river, so if the ice can handle moose and reindeer, so it will definitely handle me a bit soon, but because to walk through all this snow, it's some hard mission, guys, so we will try to don't crash in the ice now, <laughs> let's do it. We will see how it goes. <laughs> I think everything should be okay. I see some crack. Oh. Come. Oops. I don't understand. It's safe or not? I think it's safe. The ice feels very thin. 
Oh, well. If I get all wet, it's finished. I need to call for emergency because it's... Ah, stop! Let's check what's under the ice. It's another ice. Interesting. Interesting journey. Check this out, what footprint I found to compare with Sinbad footprints, it's twice larger, so I think it's either wolf or maybe huge cat, lynx, just look to this paw, Sinbad paw, oh their predator paw, finally some interesting findings. Interesting footprints. Yeah, it's like twice larger than Sinbad. So somewhere near some other doggy waiting for some meal. Hopefully it's not will be my dog. Interesting. And you can see he's tracking the bigger animal trails like moose or reindeer. So yeah. Or maybe he was just going to drink some water. But yeah. Something interesting. Let's continue. I fucking did it. Oh man. I hope it not go over. I don't feel any water yet, but. Oh. Living on the edge, guys. Probably it's not safe to sit here. Also, I hit my knee very hard in this ice edge. It's good I don't feel any wet in my shoe. <coughs> yeah, it's true.
So guys, my camera battery will die very soon. So it's probably one of the last video of day three in Saltfjella National Park. It's difficult walk here. We have no idea. But let's push. Let's fucking push. I don't know if you can see guys, but I'm fucked. Literally up to my balls, I get stuck in water. <sighs> this fucking water places between grasses, my old shoe is wet. The right one is not that wet, but it's getting wet. Oh, I'm fucked. It's freezing temperature. <sighs> Fuck! Fuck! Why? <sighs> I will explain everything later guys but this is God's help again like always oh man I'm so happy okay guys I'm going to dry my stuff and charge my phones today 14 kilometers walked in this deep snow it was what to handle for me oh.